last 24 hours, more than 34,000 people got tested. The demand for testing is leading to lines like these popping up all over the state. Channel 3 Chief Capital Reporter Susan Raff is live in Middletown where people waited for hours today. Susan. Irene, even before testing started this morning, cars were lined up. That is the driveway there that you see behind me. It closed at 4 today, but you can be sure tomorrow morning the cars will be there. They are lined up down the block. The Community Health Center is seeing a huge increase in people who want to get tested, and that's exactly what we're seeing at other sites. Grand Street in Middletown has turned into a parking lot these days. Cars are lined up all day with people waiting for a COVID test. Drone 3 captured the scene Wednesday morning with cars lined up for blocks. We do know that it's an extensive wait and we're sorry about that, but people have been very gracious and our teams are working as fast as they can. Waiting for a test can take two to three hours. To make the wait a little more comfortable, CHC is going to put porta potties at their site. Jeff Woodcock waited at a Cromwell site for two hours. He just found out he's negative. He says more people are worried now. I also think that is due to the fact that things are open now versus back in March, there was really nothing open. March, April, May, you know, bars weren't open. You know, you really couldn't do anything. Now that places have been open and are open, you know, between schools and restaurants and things like that, I definitely feel like it is hitting home more. Here at the convention center in Hartford, there is another testing site with long lines of cars inside this garage. This one is being run by Hartford Healthcare. CVS has also expanded their testing sites. They now have 68 locations with two rapid sites in Waterbury and Coventry. But at CVS, you need to make an appointment. Each site is now doing about 20 to 50 tests a day. We actually are doing the fourth most testing per capita in the entire country. So we're already top five. Um, and uh, we have uh, over 260 different testing sites around our small little state. Um, and we've actually increased that number um, about 30% in the last two weeks. And here's something to think about. We could see an even greater demand for testing. Keep in mind, many college students will be returning to Connecticut this weekend for the Thanksgiving break. Now, some colleges do require or asking students to get tested before they leave their schools, but not all. So good advice for college students. When you get home, stay home and quarantine for two weeks. We are live in Middletown, Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Susan.